Yes or no? Can I actually say no for once? No. Yes. Okay, there's a picture and it is is uh, jumbled. Once again, something popped up in the corner about someone playing one shot and it kind of startled me a little bit. <sighs> Do I even want to click the mouse? I'm clicking the mouse. Okay, everyone. Whoops. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Wow, you should probably dismiss about it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Damn. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. That gives us all something to do. Wait, I don't have something to do. What about Dan? Dan is going to help me. Whoa, I don't have... What? Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is it your work almost most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Dan around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Dan decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Dan make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Dan, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Alright, Natsuki. What the fuck? My mouse is moving itself. Bruh. Bruh. Stop. Stop. Ha, bitch. Nigga. Nigga, stop. Oh, God. <laughs> say oh i fucking triggered the game the freaking mouse is moving on itself no <laughs> what if i quit what if i quit right now oh this is uh this is uh display skip um uh unseen text yeah oh boy well, I guess I'm choosing save, and then I'm gonna hit, uh, skip, skip, yes, uh, skip, gonna hit skip now, ha, I am not skipping, damn it, well, I tried. So, um, I guess I'm clicking the very top, almost off the screen, Monica. Yeah, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair! Giving us all this work and then taking Dan for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional self-important you are pulling Dan away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I wanted to spend a little more time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Dan? Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally! Finally! This is really all I wanted. Dan, there's n- There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh -huh. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could ever imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. 
Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? Not really, it's a little crazy. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Dan. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Dan, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Dan. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, fuck, I should have saved. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 hold up. Wait. She's gonna fucking kill me. She's gonna kill me. I'm gonna hit no. I'm gonna hit no. You crazy. I don't want you. Oh, God. Okay. Music stopped. Fuck. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. We're dead, boys. We're dead. GG. Game over. Game over. We're about to die. Ah. 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 Excuse me? What does that say? Holy shit. Okay, what does it say? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been the dream of mine to make something special out of things I love now. You're a club member. The, the, the unique club members say already the young Natsuki, Yuri, the timid, and Monica, leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone in the Literature Club. Will you promise to. Wait, I can tell you are a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to the Literature Wait, is it just repeating itself? Promise to spend the most time with. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me, Monica? Calm your fucking ass down. What the fuck, Yuri? You really just stab yourself in the fucking stomach twice and then the heart? Good lord. What are you saying? I want to know what this says. I can't read it. Actually, what the fuck? Actually, what the fuck? Actually, what the fuck? Why is my character not saying anything? What is all this shit saying? Can I hit skip? Um. Oh, oh, do I just keep hitting skip? Okay, now it's nighttime. We're just, we're just gonna sit here and stare at Yuri for all night. <clears throat> now it's now it's morning again. Wow. I think it's intended for me to skip all this. <sighs> okay, Yuri. Is it is it getting faster? Because we're not getting anywhere. We're actually not getting any. Never mind. We got somewhere. I don't know what that says. All right, it's festival time. Why wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty. Ah! Ah! Oh, she puked. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Dan, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Dan? Yes! I didn't go home. I stood here all two days because apparently I was just so shocked from the point of freaking Yuri stabbing herself in front of me that I didn't need to eat for two whole days or drink for two whole days. I didn't do anything for two days except stand here and look at his bloody ass body. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh! Excuse me? You can't just delete Natsuki. You're almost done. 
Wait, so this is this is the creator of the game? Yeah, I kind of remember reading that. So you just deleted Yuri, you deleted Natsuki. Now what? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monaka lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake because she doesn't exist now. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since the last time I ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Wait. What? What did you just do? Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Dan. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. The fuck? This isn't a club anymore! Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um... Aha. Uh -huh. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Dan. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. So you're talking to me, personally. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, I mean, I, I didn't read the download page because it was spoilers, okay? I wanted to go into this completely blind, Monica, but then apparently you're the freaking creator of the game. I didn't know that. Now you're fucking with shit. We're like in some freaking weird fourth universe now. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh -huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name while, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. So you fucked with her, and you made her kill herself. It wasn't my not keeping up with her. Sayori did it. You bitch. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Well, I personally wouldn't have went for Yuri had I had the choice. But you kind of coded me in to not have a choice, game. Okay? If you would have looked at my poems... There you go. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. Yeah, there you go. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Dan? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not jealousy, Dan. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, no one's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Dan. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to be more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Dan. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonom autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but there must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Dan, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Dan, will you go out with me? Okay, save the game. 
There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Uh oh. What if I say no though? Fuck! I don't have a choice. I want to say no though. Nah. What if I all F4 the game right now? Damn it! I don't have a choice, do I? This is so stupid. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Dan. Fuck. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ha <laughs> ha There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Dan. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directly, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things that didn't go my way. Uh, thankfully it didn't come to that. Wait, are you saying I should fuck with the files? Instead, we finally got a good- hang on, I'm about to fuck with these files, hold up. I gotta go look over here. Steam, Steam Maps, Common... Doki Doki Lurch, allow characters, it's right there. What if I just delete fucking Monica instead? I'm gonna do that after this plays out. And finally, we got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with the emotion. I wanna write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? No. Uh, it doesn't work. I'm just gonna fucking click 20 times because it doesn't it doesn't matter anymore. Hi again, Dan. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Dan. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file like you preferred playing without me. Fuck, she knows. She fucking knows. She knows my plan. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Dan? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? <gasps> what the fuck? How does she know? Hold up, restart the recording. Alright, I restarted it. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends? It's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning. I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't jump scare me. I will fucking, I will throw, I will fucking throw this thing. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. You gave me some time to- <gasps> Bitch! Mm, bitch, you fucking- Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Oh, you're so cute. Anyway, Dan, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, 
If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. So we're, we're just gonna stop. So we're just, we're just gonna... I don't like this anymore. I don't... I don't, I don't I don't want to look into your eyes. I'm, I'm fucking worried. I'm gonna stand back here. Okay, for one, I was worried she was gonna like stop my record. Jesus Christ. Okay, I can do this. It's fine. I can do this. This game's getting weird. You're such a good listener, Dan. I really love that about you. Sometimes I'm afraid that I'm rambling or talking about boring things. It makes me kind of self-conscious when I'm having conversation. But I don't feel that way with you. Like I don't think about anyone else. I don't think anyone else could make me feel this way. You really are special. I don't want anyone to tell you otherwise. So is this it? Are you just literally gonna do nothing the whole time? Is this it? Am I am I really supposed to start this game over? And delete her file and just play through the game that way. Cause I feel like that's where she's dropping the hint. Just take Monica out of the fucking game. Reinstall the game. And then just delete her. And play the game again. Hey, you know that book you're reading with Yuri? Portrait of whatever it was called? It's funny, because I'm pretty sure that book uh actually I don't think I should be talking about this. Ah uh, sorry. Just forget I said anything. Okay, seriously though? Is there a logical end to this? Like, is she just gonna keep talking more and more and more and more? I feel like I really should fuck with these files. <clears throat> Let's see, what's the log say? Hmm. Nothing in the log. Trace back does nothing. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not still hung up over here, right? Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. You just fucking made that pun. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway. I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. All right, whatever. What what she what she say? You know how Sari is really clumsy. Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You know, you're you're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of left herself to slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something, because she started clawing at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost con unconsciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it's probably less changing your mind and more just her survival instinct kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not, it's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. I may have exact, ex exacerbated it a little bit, but Sierra was already mentally ill. Still though. I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it's even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together, there's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. I'm so, I'm so confused, dude. There's no way this goes on for like forever. And I can't save, and I can't, I can close the game, but I don't know what happens if I reload it. So is this just the end, Monica? Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine's emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. It's not conceited or anything, is it? I just meant that I feel some kind of special connection to it. Like it's part of my identity. Does it happen to also be your favorite color, Dan? It's just a guess, because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. You act like I have a fucking choice. What if I cl I'm closing the game? Hang on a second. There's no way 
that that is the fucking end of the game. What? What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop, but now it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. I don't know if I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that. Could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. So closing the game. Oh, uh-oh. I broke it. Fuck, I broke it. I actually broke it. Oh no, it just stopped responding. Shit. Alright, I'll relaunch it again. You're back. Wait for it to pop up on, on the screen this time. There he goes. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I'd be really grateful. Hold on a second. Can I just fucking start the game? There's no main menu. She fucking broke the game! Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> don't worry. I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. Oh, you're hinting at it. You want me to delete the file. Okay. I'll do that then. Oh, don't worry. I'll fucking delete your file then. That's what you want me to do. I'll fucking do it. Not a, you, 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 you're clearly edging me on here. You said as long as you're fine. It's, it's like they want me to delete the game by the Delete the go to common, go to freaking literature Kong, look, characters, delete Monica, gone. Now what? Now the game has no characters. I feel like the moment I open this is just break the game now, but I'll fucking do it. Oh, game's open now. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Um What's happening? Dan, what's happening to me? It hurts. Oh, she's gone. It hurts so much. Help me, Dan. Oh, please hurry and help me. Ren help me! You can't repair a file that doesn't exist. Did you do this to me, Dan? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Dan. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Maybe. Maybe I was. Maybe not. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I kill everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. But how are you still talking if you're gone? Dan, you completely, truly making me sick. Goodbye. What? What? You're still fucking here. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Gonna have your your revolution your resolution now and uh fix everything. I've made up my mind. Dan, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm gonna do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you. Then, then something, it glitched out. 